Bull Expo in Reno 2012. Been an exciting trip. Uh, tons of people out here. Obviously, there's always room for more. But it's not like we can drag any more in. And we wouldn't be able to have this going on if it wasn't for a few people. A, a whole bunch of people. Uh, whether we want to call it the lighting store or the karaoke people, uh, we're glad to have. CJ Fox couldn't make it this year, but this is much better. He's easier on the eyes. <laughs> so we have Amy Malik with Lighting Store. Amy, welcome. Thank you. Glad to be here. So, kind of the music business, bowling centers, it's kind of a new thing you know, over the last decade maybe and it just keeps growing and all these lights and whatever they want to call it galactic bowling uh whatever yeah so cj's what's been going in the on? business for uh almost 30 years now and uh we deal with uh lights sound systems projectors big screens and uh led signs the new like open signs for your door we have you know any kind of sign you can make think of we can make yeah, people remember them. I mean, the bowling center is on a Saturday night. Is walking into a disco. That's I mean, correct. I mean, everything's dark. They got, I mean, images on the masking units, lights along the lanes, and there's going to be some more innovations with that actually on the lanes. So, what's kind of the newer stuff this year that's come out and been introduced? Um. I think a lot of the centers are now um, introducing the, the, the big screens and the projectors. More of them are doing that this year than uh, they've done in the past. Um, that's a big thing for, they used to put TVs in, but now it's, you know, you can get bigger with the big screens and the projectors. Um, some of the newer lights we've done are, are uh, well, the LED is just coming out. You know, it's been out for a year or two, but they're getting rid of all the bulb lights and the LED lights, and they're a little brighter. They're more efficient. They don't cost as much to run, and they they can run all the time. And because the bowling lanes, the lane conditioner that's on it has a UV additive into it, it just lends right into the black lights, and everything looks like it lights up out there. Yeah, they they've got some really really cool colors and the lasers, and and uh, it, it it really it really puts on a show. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can make some pretty nice shows out of it um, with. CJ calls it our wow show. It, it's amazing. There's so many lights that go on that uh, it really it really lights up a center. Okay, now getting to the second part, the, the karaoke folks. You had changed the format a little bit this year, so the finals being Monday night, just traditional. So how'd the whole competition go? Oh, the competition was amazing. Um, it's great every year. It's amazing how many people come and and how well some of these people can actually sing, you know. Y you think of karaoke, you think of... Your local bar. Yeah, and people going, having a few drinks, you know. But it really promotes the bowling centers, too, because people love karaoke, you know. It's it's something they can go make a fool out of themselves, and, and people still love you tomorrow. The, it gives you something to laugh about, you know. And um, so it, it really brings in the promotions to the bowling centers, Um to bring these people in and have them do the karaoke and sing the karaoke and it's quite a big competition uh, we had over over 25,000 people compete this year and uh, we narrowed it down to uh, the top 50 I believe that came in mm -hmm. and um, from there on on Monday night uh, they all competed on Monday night and then we knocked it down to the top 12 which competed on Tuesday night um, for the grand prize of five thousand dollars. Yeah, I know. Two years ago, you were kind of short on judges, and my wife got to be a judge, and she thought that was the greatest thing that's ever happened at Bull Expo. That she was able to see some of these people, and then when they made the top eight or ten that made the show, I said, that's one of my guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you know, you're, you know, you take an interest in these people. You know, when you're in their room, you know. And you're watching them, and you're singing, and you're you're cheering on for your people. You know, it's like, oh, that guy was so good. He was in my room. I really want him to win. You know, and the, the, they're amazing. So, the guy the guy who won it was uh, Preston Dillamuth um, from uh, Fountain uh, Fountain Bowl in uh, New York. So, 
they're, they're very proud of him and that he won this year. So they were so excited. And all this comes about, there's always a people behind the scenes and a technical. Jason. Give oh. it, let's give him a little. <laughs> now, this, we could not this be doing this without. These are the people that really come around here. These are the people that really make your company what it is. Because without these people, there's nothing with the company. He's That's got the correct. look. This isn't in my job description. <laughs> That's exactly right. This isn't in my job description. That's correct. You know, without us all working together, um, it wouldn't be what it is. It, it is a, a lot of hard work. And we put in a lot of hours um, to get to get to uh, to get to to get the, the show on, you know. The hours and hours of the setup, getting everything together, your technical expertise of all the problems that happen. We there's always constantly going to be a monkey wrench thrown in sometime. Yeah, very much so. Um, the other night there was a monkey wrench in one of the when one of the finalists was singing. It was a hurry up, switch over, and it was probably a two minute you know a two minute delay that. It happens, but you have to be ready for it. You have to understand. You have to be quick on it. And the, the other two guys that were running the systems were very quick on it. They knew they had a problem. They hurried up and got it changed over. Because this is hurry. these are live. A lot of them are taped. So when they do those shows taped, there's no problem. They edit it out, and it looks like it's just a smooth sailing. Everything went perfect. Right. That's correct. Yeah. It's 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 all. It is it, it is all live. So we have glitches. Last year we had uh, the music stop on one kid, and uh, we tell him you got to keep going. I mean, it's and he did, and he did beautiful. He actually, uh, I I think he did better without the music than he did with his acoustic. I mean, he just was spot on. So. Yeah. But yesterday the booth ran very well. We come in this morning, there's no power. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we came back. Yeah, when we came in this morning, there was nothing. They were dead upstairs. The whole this whole side was dead. So yeah. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we thought, too, only <laughs> maybe in not those words. <laughs> well, we appreciate everything. We appreciate you coming on. What's the website if someone wants to go ahead and contact you? Yes, please check out our website. Um, it's www.thelightingstore.com. And uh, we've got everything on there, and we have pictures. Uh, you can also check out CJ Fox on Facebook. Um, we also have a lighting store page on Facebook. So, uh, yeah, just uh, come check us out. How about the old-fashioned phone number? Oh, yes. It is 888-746-5483. Uh, uh, hey. Thanks a lot. We appreciate it. Bye-bye. Thank bye you. Bye-bye.